So this the is one in all the videos. So yeah, you've seen Brewster, right? So this is Paul Brarin here from EV Club, uh, Connecticut. And we just pulled in the Model 3. We actually needed charge. It was on my way to New York. And what do you know? I got an Attic 5 next to me and a Rivian. And you guys are just talking about, are you on the right sides? And it looks like it'll work out great. Of course, this doll is out of luck for now, right? So 2C is going to be orphaned off for a while. But at least your car charges fast. Although I'm seeing mixed results on different cars, right? You've seen that too? So you've, you've been looking at Brewster? Like a Lucid is terrible, like 48 or something. Yeah, <laughs> so we're yeah. about to find out. I think it ranges, but I think you, ma you max out at around a uh, little over 100. Okay. So. Yeah. This what is do you think of the Rivian? This, this is supposed to be capable of 250. But I think you only get 148 or something here, right? Yep, this yep. This is only a 400 volt, so I think exactly. I, I, pulled, That's one, gonna be I pulled 150 here, I think. So when they build V4 someday with the money, then we're probably good because you get longer cables and your cars will charge even faster, right? Yes. We're just not there yet. It's like a seems like a test site. I was going to say the kind of fun is how things are moving forward and how quickly. They're moving. It's yep. Really, yep. You, know, you, you have to be willing to be part of that process if you're in this these days. Did you guys actually need a charge today, or is it just an experiment? No, I'm just curious. You I saw know. like the. For me, I was actually close. So it was an experiment. Yeah, an experiment. Yeah. Well, you saw the videos yesterday. Everyone was here. Everybody blasted. Yep. Yep. So I thought it might be crowded today where I might not be able to charge. I was a little worried about that, but here's the thing though. My car's screen will say how many stalls are available. It's gonna be wrong. Like it doesn't know that nobody can use that stall right now. That's like a software problem, but if with no camera monitoring the site, how would they know? Is that your, is it working? You mind if I show your screen? Does it show anything personal? You're telling you what stall, right? Yeah, there you go. And it says five available. So let's look. My car's charging and two others. So it's correct at this moment. Three out of eight stalls are in use. So five available. Hey, Gives you a little animation, right? On how to release the handle. Yeah, Did you see nice. that? Go back to that last screen for a second. Oh. Yeah. yeah, when you touch it, it tells you to push in and then pull, right? Okay. Um, so it's a little three. clumsy. Here comes the click. Oh, gotta do the billing. <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah. Did you get the click yet? No, as a matter of fact, I still got to give them account information. Oh, the billing, yeah. Part of, the reason I'm here. of course, once that's set up, all your subsequent visits will be super fast and easy, yeah. Model 3 over there, that one's pulsing green. That's ready? I heard it. I just heard a click. Nice. You did push in a little then, huh? And it worked. We're gonna hear it announce it's starting, right? Yeah. Well, it says up to two minutes, but we'll see how fast it goes. Yeah, it looked like it was like 10 seconds for most of the stuff I saw. Charging started, nice. The kilowatts, yeah. Well, is that showing on the screen there? Did it work or? Oh, it stopped? No idea why? Uh, there was a video or two I saw that kind of thing happening too. Did you get a pop-up, a push notification on your phone? Uh, it, it just said it failed, but it didn't really tell me why. Ooh, that's not good. So that's why we never saw your dashboard light up. It didn't actually start. Okay. No easy way to see how many... Uh... Mm -hmm. Charging started. I see a battery on your screen this time. It's looking better, right? Oh, it goes away when you open the door? How about your phone? Does it show the kilowatts there? No, it does give you a pop-up. It said we ran into an issue. Oh, again? Was that the old pop-up? Uh, it's just an unplug and try again. Oh, boy. So momentarily it might be charging. That's why the battery indicator showed in the screen. But clearly something up. Oh, I did see one video where I think they just moved stalls. So maybe you're stuck with that one. I don't know. Just a thought. Um, but you can't, yeah, there, you got plenty of stalls now that he moved. So if you have to move, at least now there's lots of room there. How's it going on your end? Well, so as, ostensibly I uh, can unlock the CCS1 adapter. That's the first time I've heard the click. 
so perhaps it will now push in and then pull out. It. Nice. Yay. First, first attempt. So now you're done with the billing stuff. You should yep. be good. I'm going to come around behind you here and get the little status lights. Sure. Thanks for your help. Sure, man. And I'd like to talk to you about the club. I'm going to... Cool. All right. And the animation and the lights, what are they telling us? Uh, there. there we go. Green. Pretty obvious. And it is showing chart. Nice. Let's so reach over. Sure. No, I can see. It's all right. Okay. Yeah, hop in. Whatever you got to do. And there's speed here. Let's see. Center display. No, there's a kill. It's 279 miles nice. per hour. 282. 282. It's ramping up fast. So your battery was at 53%. Correct. And were you preconditioned? No. Because there's no way to do that, right? Yeah, it does if you choose it as a destination. If you choose this place? This, if you choose any uh, CCS charging location as your destination, it conditions the battery. And this place was in your nav already? No. Nope. Okay. Well, so you were. the app. I don't have it in my nav. Yeah, so is there a workaround? Like, is there a CCS station near here where you can get it to precondition as you drive over? Well, you know, maybe in Patterson, but I don't know. But either way, your battery was already warm, so it didn't yeah. matter. Was your car, like, in a garage or was it outdoors? Uh, a little bit of both. Yeah, so, yeah, a pretty warm day, too. It was like yeah. 48, 50. Yeah. It's not that cold. Well, that's good. Cool, thanks. Now, the, he's not doing so well, so he moved car. Let's see how he's doing. So we're at a new, I just heard it. My timing's good, charging started, and now we're waiting for a dreaded pop-up or success. Um, so if we come this way, it is actually charging. I see it, oh, and the screen went off. Pop-up again. No, it's looking better. So we need to document that stall and plug share is bad, the first one you're at. Kind of tell the world, right? Oh, no, no. Oh, again? Yeah. Dang. And you only had seven kilowatts briefly, right? It was a very low number. But it's gonna ramp. Yeah, shoot. So I'm not sure what to make of that. Up. I guess there's one advantage to this end spot is that you're not blocking anybody. So I think 1A is gonna be popular at this place because people can park pretty much any EV can charge at that without blocking anyone, which is awesome. Right. Um, but there's only one of those. All right, you thinking you're just trying again in the same stall? I'm gonna go for it, yeah. Your car itself doesn't pop up an error. The Tesla app is pushing an error to you, right? You think it's worth me? I'll zoom in the screen this time when you do it. Let's just see if the screen tells you anything. Well, you can open the door. First. Yeah, okay. Uh, Thanks. Forty-four kilowatts, and it just went off. Did your end stop too? Yeah. Ah, shoot. Huh? Well, you're one of those world pioneers here, but you're not the first Ionic Five here, so I don't know what's going on. Three stalls available. That number is way off. There's actually only three in use, so that's a little weird. All right, one more thing to try for the Ionic, and that is he's just gonna try a different stall. And uh, if that works, all we've learned is what? It's hit and misses for Ionics in Brewster, New York. <laughs> Any brand will work. And he's not blocking anybody, because notice there's no charger back here. So no matter what, any big honking truck, even a Hummer could park here without annoying anybody. Cable's still pretty short though. <laughs> what do you think, is it gonna reach? And the fact that there's snow here is not really helping. Some of it's melted since yesterday. <laughs> the, the pulsing green on a Rivian, is that like an option that you can set? Or it's only on when you're near the car and Bluetooth's connected or something? Uh, only unlocked, okay, got it. So when you leave the car alone, that just goes away. How many, how many kilowatts now? Let's see, we got um, a percentage and... Uh, 288 up. miles per hour. Where's the kill? Uh, I was reading the wrong thing before right, then, right. wasn't I? So... Kilowatts are buried in some deep menu, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. No, let's see. Right, it was showing 132 uh, kilowatt on the... Um, oh, the app. That's right. 
139. Nice, okay. So the highest you saw was 132-ish? And it just was at 139 when we sure first opened it pretty up. Pretty normal stuff, because you're yeah. well past 60% out yeah. of the battery, okay. Yeah, the prediction was 12 minutes, and it looks like it's going to be right about there. Thank you so much. What was your first name? Chris. Okay, thanks, Chris. And uh, can I ask you? Yeah, you? yeah. I want to ask you about EV Club while I'm still recording. That's fine. That's uh, yeah. That's one of the things I'd be interested in. The website title, and I'll take a look. So EV Club is evclubct.com. Yeah, I actually went to uh, two of the libraries uh, uh, get-togethers concerning EVs before I bought these. Oh, okay, um, down in Fairfield area, or right here in, in Danbury. Right here in Danbury. Area. Okay, yeah. yep. So, um, and uh, you know, been any of us. I had this on order in. December 2019. What'd you do for home charging, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I installed a uh, Rivian charger, which was part of my purchase uh, process, and was, since I was an early adopter, I got the, the early pricing on it, so it was uh, very much to my advantage. Nice. And, and uh, some tax deductions on the electrician? It's happening. Oh, I could, but the as I read the rules, the Rivian um, smart charger is not one of the ones for which you could get a Rivian. Mm. Um, I had a guy who had done done a lot of electrical work for me earlier, and he just jumped in. So it was uh, a little bit cheaper than it might have been otherwise. Anyway. Have you heard of? Um, I had the same problem in my house. It wasn't appealing to me to get the charge point with a J seventeen seventy two to Tesla adapter sticking way out, and it was also way more expensive than Tesla wall connectors, which went down to four hundred fifty. Yeah. So it's like doesn't make yeah, a lot of in, sense. It was 500 bucks. How about um, and then Eversource, their incentive program? Did you opt into that, or you, uh, did, you didn't own this car last summer? Correct. This truck. And I was looking through it uh, for this. The program itself doesn't seem to be all that advantageous. Um, for um, I, I made it, make it a point to time the charging uh, between uh, midnight and 7 a.m. Okay. And uh, that seems to be within reason. And the next time they're going to address it, as I understand the program, would be in the summer for heavy air conditioning use and power grid changes. Correct. Correct. I was a beta tester. Well, last year was not so great. Eversource struggled. It would turn off. I live in Weathersfield, so we're Eversource, not United. Are you United Illuminating no, or Eversource. Eversource? Yeah. And it would shut off at like five or six. No problem. It would shut off at like five or six p.m., but it wouldn't resume charging. That's not good. So if you're leaving to Boston the next yeah, morning yeah, and you, your car is now at forty percent, that's yeah, like yeah. oh, that's a fail. So I tell you the story partly because they got it right for this year. So you'll be able to enroll probably around April. You'll probably get an email blast that all Eversource Connecticut customers will get asking you to sign up. Last year, I did get $200 for each car. So each month was $50 and I had two Model 3s okay. and I opted in. My wife's car wasn't that active, but my car many times participated. If you opt out too many times, you won't get the money. Yeah, but yeah. basically, I got 400 bucks plus some money in the spring to enroll. So. I think it was $100 each car that's enrolled. So this summer is looking good because you'll be able to tell it, I just want my car ready at 7 a.m. Do whatever that means. Got it. That could mean if you've got heat pumps running and your neighborhood's busy at night in a cold winter's night, yeah. you actually might not want to charge at 2 a.m. They might want to do it at 9 p.m. to midnight. Yeah. Let the utility figure that out. So well, the other side of the coin then with, is one thing I'm considering is, of course, changing delivery, especially after this recent rate change in Connecticut. And uh, whether that program would be still available through Eversource should that I'd be using a different delivery source. I've got an answer for you, but I can get confirmation because we've talked to the Eversource and United Limited people. Last summer, I did that. I shot my electric rate. I still got the money. Mm -hmm. And this summer, I just did the same thing. We went from 12 to 24 cents because mm -hmm. my three-year contract with a lower energy provider expired in mm -hmm. October. And now it was pretty disastrous going from the default of 12 for Eversource to 24. So you better believe I was shopping around on EnergizeCT.com. Mm -hmm. And I found one for 14 cents, I think it was, but I only left enrolled for two, three months because then this year, January, I found one for 10.67 cents, 10.61 cents. For a three months. Only six months, uh, eight months. Minor information, the prediction yeah. when I plugged in was 12 minutes, it's taken exactly 12 minutes to go exactly where it said it would go. So prediction was good. How about the start time? Was it like 10 seconds to get going? At the most. At the most, yeah, it's been amazingly quick for people, except for his one story bad there, okay. So would you actually use these over Electrify America at this point on Not a road over, trip? predicated on uh, their availability, yeah. And so it'd be a secondary choice, potentially. Correct, okay. because reality is, just as I heard you say, you had the distinct impression you wouldn't even have a charger to work with. And cool. you watch enough of these things being, these days being completely topped up, completely filled up. So I'll keep it in my hip mode. Cool. Yeah. yeah. His Rivian did charge in the 12 minutes he told him. He got the full speed he was expecting. Everything worked fine over there. So. I'd this is a challenge. How do you know what the problem is, right? Whether it's Electrify America or a Tesla, if nothing's really telling you why you can't charge, who would you even call, you know? That is Dunkin' Donuts and Sherwin-Williams Paint. 
So it looks like more tenants could be in this building here in the future. Route 684 is right there and 84. So major highway interchange and we're very close to it. Can I just get a close up of the actual nozzle? I never, all right, thank you. It's the one thing my video is missing. And there's no like scratches. It doesn't, it looks like brand new right at this point. And a heavy duty metal interlock here. And there's the button, it's mechanical. All right, thank you, appreciate that. Click. And we're off. Let's see how long. That was even shorter. Died again, right? Well, Winston, thank you so much for your patience. I don't know what we're gonna do. Like, who would you call, right? <laughs> we call 800, is there an 800 number in the test lab? Are you gonna just give up or what are you thinking? Um, well, I, I came here with about 50%, so I'm good to go where I gotta go. So yeah, you don't really care. To, yeah. Uh, uh, no, I, shot. All right, so you went and paid the 12 bucks. It made you reconfirm everything in your profile, yeah. including like the last four of the credit card or something. Yeah. And then it charged $12 even. And you were hoping maybe opting into that monthly subscription would do something, and unfortunately, it still failed to charge after, right? Pretty much. All right. I guess we'll end on that note. Thanks again, Winston. Bye.